Are you ready to create a habit of consistency in your workouts? Are you ready to give up diet culture and food shame for good? Are you tired of obsessing about your weight and thinking about food all day long? Do you want to lose weight, tone your body, and learn to rely on God and your health journey? Are you tired of comparing yourself to others on social media and just want to feel good in your skin? Are you tired of making excuses and feeling unmotivated? Thankfully, there's a basic formula to weight loss. It's the mindset shift and discipline habits we need help with. The enemy loves it when we're distracted, dieting, and using food as a crutch. He's been tempting women with food since Eve in the garden. It's time to reclaim our temples, eliminate diet culture, cultivate a habit of discipline, and learn to move ourselves as a way of worship. God has big plans for your life, and it will be hard to walk in that purpose if you're constantly worried about your weight. It's time to reclaim your choices and let the Holy Spirit lead. Hey there, friend. I'm Lindy Slaybaugh, Christian fitness and nutrition coach, encourager, and friend. I gained 100 pounds in my late 20s and struggled for years to get it off. Seven years ago, I found a basic system that works and has helped me lose 90 of those pounds. I've been working with women in online fitness and nutrition ever since. We work to break chains of diet culture, embrace our bodies, and learn to fuel instead of diet. For years, I was chasing weight loss, and God kept calling me to give him my journey and trust his plan. He kept saying to me, obedience over outcome. Focus on me, be obedient to my voice, and release the weight goal. Changing habits can be hard on our own, but when we give them to God, He brings beauty from our ashes. I've lost 22 pounds in the last four months learning to discern His voice. It's not too late for you to try again. In this podcast, I'll teach you how to lean into prayer over your health journey and give it to God. I'll help you cultivate a fruit of discipline that will help you find joy in exercise. We'll plan your week and schedule your self-care time. I'll help you learn principles to release food shame and disordered eating habits and set a daily routine that will make you feel empowered to keep moving forward, even on the days you'd rather hit snooze. We'll learn to discern the Holy Spirit and release the need to strive. I'll give you biblical principles to help you lose weight and eat a ton of food without giving up the things that you love. I am here to help you change your mindset about food and movement. I want to help you cultivate a spirit of self-discipline so you can step into the path that God has for your life. It's time to give God your health journey and watch Him make you new from the inside out. You've got this, sister. Now repeat after me. Jesus, I trust you. I am leaning into obedience over the outcome. Please be sure to join my free community below where I run free monthly challenges and I'll send you a copy of my free faith-inspired habit and nutrition planner. Thank you. Take care and God bless. Hey there, friend. Good morning. I hope this message finds you well. So I want to share with you how I help clients find one thing to focus on each day. So many times we invest in another fitness or nutrition plan and we try to do all of the things and we get overwhelmed, we struggle, something goes wrong day one or day two or day three and we think, why in the world did I even try this? I've never been able to succeed before. What what made me think that I could do this again? And I really just want to offer some encouragement today. If God is putting the message on your heart to continue, Continue to lean into your fitness, to your nutrition, to your mindset journey. Trust that he has a plan. Trust that he's going to send you the message that you need to hear at the time that you're ready to hear it. And believe and know that the strength that you have inside of you comes from him. And when we give him our fitness and nutrition journey, he's going to lead us exactly to the thing that we need to do. So I just really want to offer you some encouragement today. Find one thing. What I have found over the last seven years working with women who are new to their fitness journey or those of you who, like me, have invested in a thousand things and quit or given up, it can be really hard to try again. But I want to offer you some encouragement today. John C. Maxwell wrote a book called Failing Forward, and he talks about how the only time we actually fail is when we quit. But if you have tried and maybe you fell, maybe you face planted, I've been there, I've done that, trust me. It doesn't feel very good. But the simple fact that you continue to try and try again, that is where those seemingly small victories add up over time. So instead of investing in a fitness and nutrition mindset plan and trying to do all of it at once, just pick one thing. So I am hosting a three-month mentorship. We are going to kick off October 1st. And the first part of the journey that I am taking clients on is 
setting time to go through the whys of why we want to reach the goals that we want to reach. We're going to pray over them. We're going to go through the desires that God has placed on our heart. We're going to make an intentional plan. And month one, we're strictly going to focus on mindset. Month two, we're going to incorporate nutrition. And month three, if and when that client is ready, we'll introduce fitness. But I just really want to encourage you to learn to focus on mindset first. When we can wake up intentionally every morning and spend our first time, give God our first fruits and ask him to give us the thing that we need that day to lead us to make the decisions that he needs us to make, he's going to put that Holy Spirit conviction inside of you. You're going to reach the goals, but I want you to understand that this is a journey. This is not going to happen in 30 days or three months or six months or even a year, depending on the level of trauma that you are dealing with, this could take you years. So give yourself the grace. Remember, we're about progress, not perfection. We're leaning into obedience to the Holy Spirit over the outcome of weight loss and vanity metrics and things that do not measure your worth as a woman of God. You are enough as you are. Let me say that again. You are enough You are beautiful, you are perfect, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, okay? Remind yourself of that today. But be encouraged that if you are carrying extra weight, if you are struggling with any sort of disordered eating, God wants better for you. He wants to dig up those seeds and create in you a new plan and path. But trust that this is going to take time. You're going to want to quit. The world is going to come against you. The enemy does not want you digging up the seeds of trauma in your past so that you can heal from them. And we have a choice. We can live for the world or we can live for God. And that very narrow path is for the people who are willing to admit that they probably need some help. They need some encouragement. They need some accountability in their fitness journey. I know I did. I tried on my own. I tried for years on my own and it didn't work. And this year when God really called me to lay down my heavy weights and eat more food, that's when I truly started to understand that he he knows way more about me than I do. I knew that already. I'm just stubborn. Are you stubborn? Are you living in a fact or living in a mindset of that you want to be a certain weight and you haven't taken that goal to him? Let him put the goal in your heart. Let him plant that seed. Ask him every morning, okay, Lord, I really want to focus on getting my mind right. Can you bring forth anything to my mind that I need to heal from that maybe I thought I have and haven't, or maybe I forgot and pushed down? Can you reveal those things to me? Can you bring those to the surface and give me the courage and strength to lean on you when it gets really hard and I want to quit? This is, th- this is normal. You're, there's, you're not, you're not wrong. You're not There's nothing wrong with you. This is hard. Committing to learning something new about your fitness or nutrition or mindset journey. This is not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. But you have everything you need inside of you if Christ is your Savior. You have all of those fruits that he had on the cross. So learning to lean into him, taking a step to work on mindset. Find a coach that will help you work on your mindset and set long-term realistic goals that are going to keep you feeling empowered moving forward. That is the key. When we focus on learning to discern God's voice, when we can make some time to sit in his presence in stillness and silence in the morning, he is going to lead us to the very thing that we need. So I want to invite you to my three-month mentorship. I'm accepting five applications at this time. What we're going to do is we're going to do a 30-minute audit in the next couple of weeks. We will meet on FaceTime. We can do Voxer. We can meet on Facebook Messenger. And we're going to talk about the goals that you want to achieve over the next 90 days. And then we're going to break those down backwards. We're going to pray over them. We're going to ask God to remove anything that is not of him and put in anything that we need to focus on. And we're going to set a plan for the, ne- for the first 30 days. And it's going to be focused on mindset work. We're going to choose a uh, scripture. We're going to break down that scripture in the original context, how we're going to apply it to our fitness journey. If you have one that you want to use, that's great. If not, we will pray over that together. And we're going to let God speak to us 
about your health journey and help us create a plan that's going to make you feel empowered. If you feel like you have the fitness aspect down, great. And you want to work on mindset, fantastic. If you need help with nutrition, fantastic. I want you to be the the one who sets this tone through prayer. So learning to pray over these goals now, learning to take these things to God now. I'm going to provide a macro plan with recipes, grocery lists, um, exactly what you need every month over the next three months to feel empowered in your food choices. We're going to talk about how to um, plan out your daily meals. We're going to look at your week ahead and learn to plan in your self-care time, your devotional time, family time. If you want to start in, you know, moving, maybe a walk or two with your family each week, but we're going to take it one step at a time. So if you'd like to apply for my three-month mentorship, you can find the application in the explanation of this podcast. You can visit lindyslaybaugh.com. There's a quick video that explains more specifically about all that will be included with this mentorship, and we'll do an audit at the end of every 30 days. We'll recalculate your macros, we'll send a new meal plan, we'll talk about what went well, what you struggled with. Every week when we meet weekly to determine your plan and path for that week, we will pray over that. We will learn to lay down all of the fears and the things that we think about food and eating. This is going to be the tricky part. I've worked with women over seven years. Eating all of the food that you get to eat is a hard mindset shift, but one that is valuable and necessary to reach the goals that you want to reach. It is never too late for you to give God your health journey, learn a new path and new focus and let him lead. I've lost 22 pounds in the last four months, making that one simple but not easy shift. Weight loss, toning, it is a a basic formula, dependent on your age, your height, weight, your fitness level, the intensity of workouts, if you're doing any workouts at all, that's a basic formula. But when we work to get our mind right, when we can take one step every day, I'm going to give you one step every day to be intentional in your health journey. That's going to be our focus for 90 days, that one step. When you are ready, if you are ready, we'll take the next step, but not until you feel very confident in the one thing that we determine you're going to work towards at that very first 30-minute audit. This will take time. It takes on average 66 days to build a discipline. On average, that's the minimum. Most of the time, it takes almost a year. So sit back, relax, say a prayer, And trust that if God guides you here, that he's going to give you exactly what you need. And I am here for all of it. I know how hard this journey can be, but I want to help you break the chains of diet culture that are keeping you living in fear of food. And I want to help you create healthy mindset practices, healthy workout habits that are going to lead you to the life that God has planned for you because you have a purpose. And when we're ashamed of our weight, when we're ashamed of our bodies, when we're living in negativity, towards ourselves, we cannot walk in that purpose. We're going to break these chains. We're going to pray over your purpose. We're going to ask God to reveal that to you if you don't know it yet. And I'm going to help you take steps to remove the shame that you feel over your body so that you can learn to step and walk in that purpose, completely focused 1000% on obedience to that Holy Spirit voice inside of you. It's going to be pretty life-changing. Don't forget to apply below. And I look forward to learning more about your journey. Take care and be blessed. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you learned something, will you please go give me a review on Apple Podcasts? Also, if you know someone that needs to hear today's message, will you please send it their way? This is the only way I know that you're listening and enjoying the show. Please be sure to go watch my free Preparing Your Mind for a Body Makeover Masterclass. I've shared the link below. Let us not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time, we will reap harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6 9. Don't forget to visit lindyslaybaugh.com and join my free community. When you enter your email, I'll also send you a copy of my free faith inspired habit and nutrition planner. Lastly, my three month mentorship is taking applications. If you would like to apply, find the link below. Take care and be blessed.